Hi friends! Today we are reading an informational text that is non-fiction. So it gives us facts about a topic. We can look for facts about people and photographs of real people. So we are reading the story, Thank You Mr. Aesop. We're going to read to find out the most important ideas in each part. Then synthesize or put the ideas together in our mind to find out new things about the text and what it means to you. Thank you, Mr. Aesop, by Helen Lester, illustrated by Roberto Weigard. Aesop lived a long, long time ago. It was so long ago that we are not even sure he was real. Some people think Aesop was a storyteller from Greece who told stories about animals that acted like people. Some animals were full of nonsense. Others were wise. These stories are called fables. Each one tells a lesson. People like Aesop's fables. One person told a story to another, who told a story to another, who told another. You get the idea. Long after Aesop's time, people were still telling the fables. They were printed in books. Each author changed the story to make it a little different. Today, people still like Aesop's fables. Many authors retell these stories. The author, Jerry Pinky, wrote his own version of Aesop's fables. His art helps to tell each tale. We read his Grasshopper and the Ants. Ed Emberley and his daughter, Rebecca, also retell Aesop's fables. They change the stories to make them their own. In their book, The Ant and the Grasshopper, the weather is hot, not cold like in other versions. Also, the grasshopper is not alone. He plays music with the bug band. Think of it. Many fables we know were first told long, long ago. These stories hold lessons for us all. So will you be the next storyteller? I hope your reply is yes. You could retell an old fable or make up a new one. What lesson will it teach? So what do you, why do you think Aesop's fables have been told over and over for so long? Hmm. How are the other authors, Jerry Pinkney's, stories different from Aesop's? Maybe you have to re-listen to this story to see or hear what the difference was. 